all electric four by four motor in the front motor in the back testing the motor today um, there's two types shunt wound and series basically just try one way and if it works good so this one i got right the first time which is series and here's the wiring diagram so if we look at the motor you got a1 a2 s1 s2 and if you get up here you can read the a2 and a1 they call them uh s1 and s2 here also so what you do is connect a2 and s2 together so as i did there and first i made sure i unhooked my 48 volt pack i got rid of that i took as you can see right here all my uh um, wires that were connected to the motor i removed them so there's nothing that's hooked to that motor anymore except for what i'm doing so i took um, some connectors and just jumped from here to here so from s1 to a1 and then from there i have two little let's see if you can see oh, there you go these are just little pinch clips alligator clips and the polarity doesn't matter so here i built a little 48 volt test pack these are just little sealed lead acid batteries out of like you know a kid's razor toy or a mobility scooter and uh you can look up another video on how to run things in series and get a 48 volt pack or you could you know use your 48 volt from the cart but i didn't want to risk touching metal and zapping stuff so i just built my own pack plus this is low voltage or not low voltage but low amperage so anyway you just take the uh a2 and s2 run one a2 down to your negative and run s2 down to your positive or opposite it does not matter and so here we go i'm gonna just put this right on here and only one wheel spins because it's kind of like a limited slip deal whatever um has less traction will spin and you know rim here it's less weight so it spins so my motor works so we got to go up to the front and test it now but that is how you test an electric motor